So my thinking on this these days is when you want to decide whether you're going to forget the term rewrite, let's just say take ownership of like, we're going to write, we're going to, we're going to say that this is our code base now, even if we forked it from somewhere or if we're writing it from scratch to replace what we have, whatever it is. The biggest thing is not, will we be able to write it? It's, will we be able to maintain it? Hmm. And the reason for that is it, it's, it's like cognitive overhead, right? So the way I try to think about these things is, do I want to be maintaining this thing institutionally going forward? Do we want to maintain a database going forward? Is that something we're going to be happy doing? Are we going to have four, four programmers, four devs who are going to want to be doing that at Very any given point. time? Right. And for me, if the answer is yes, then I'd say unless you have access to a very high quality solution, like there are some products out there that are very high quality, not many, but there are, right? And so if you have access to one of those, it may still be a hard decision because you might be like, well, there's a pretty damn good. Are we that good? I mean, I don't know. Um, because you know, projects can fail really easily. And maybe we thought, maybe we thought we were really good, and it turns out we weren't so good, right? So it's still a tough call, but um otherwise I think that it really comes down to do we have people who are really gonna take this seriously? And, and we're going to maintain the resource and we're going to dedicate ourselves to it. The timing you don't want to do it is just like, well, we'll just rewrite this database and then go back to what we were doing, right? Because that's not going to happen, yeah, it's right? Realistically, happen. it's not going to happen. And the reason it's not going to happen is that even if you are awesome and you write something so baller that it really doesn't need to be maintained in any particular way, and I, and I hope you're that good because that would be cool. Um, the problem is then you expand somehow. Hmm. You're like, oh, well... We now need to run that like in the cloud or we need to run that, you know, on multiple machines. And it was originally just for one machine and we need to do this. We need to do that. And you keep getting pulled back into the project. Right. And so, again, it's it's really about do you have people who are going to commit to be doing that and that want to do that? Mm -hmm. it, you know, in, in a way. It's almost like treat it like you're going to treat it like a, a, an enlightened life decision you were going to make, right? Like an enlightened life decision is like, you know, I, I need to, you know, you know uh, I need to know whether I, I really like playing music. I really like playing guitar and it's, it's really like my passion or whatever that something that I, I don't, I can't play guitar. This is a hypothetical situation. Um, uh, but like I have this good job at a bank or whatever. And like, do I want to, do I want to go, like, I have this opportunity to tour with the band, but it's not going to pay very well or whatever, but I've always wanted to do that. And you know, and that, or do I stay at the bank where I know it's a thing and whatever. Right. And, um, you've got all these things to weigh at the end of the day, you have to think about, it's like, look, time is the only non-renewable resource. I have to think about in 10 years and 20 years, I'm going to look back and I say, what did I spend my time on? And honestly, with programming, even if it's at a job, even if it's at a job you don't like that much, it's sort of a similar decision where it's like, I'm going to have to look back over this 10 years and say, was I doing yeah, something? Sure. I want? And if the answer to you is I'm psyched about spending that 10 years doing this like issue database or whatever, like yeah. I love database stuff and I want to work on it. And I'm going to keep, and, I'm, I'm, and anytime there's a new challenge on a database, I'm psyched. If you're thinking that in your head, then like, go for it, man. Like, like that's probably going to succeed actually to mm -hmm. a large extent. Yeah. If what you're thinking is like, I want to be working on this, the other, like, I don't know what else is in JetBrains, but I want to be working on like, you know, uh, semantic analysis of code. Like I, I want to be doing stuff that's like, you know, flagging errors. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I'm really into that sort of yeah. stuff and parsing or whatever it is. That's what I want to be doing. But the issue tracker sucks and like Dave quit and he was the person supposed mm -hmm. to be doing the database integration. So I'll just go over there and write, like, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Because what that's going to do is going to make you miserable. I mean, make miserable, you write bad code, yeah. bad code makes bad product, bad product makes an unhappy world, right? So yeah. I would treat it like that. I yeah. treat it like you're in a, you have the opportunity to go tour with the band or whatever yeah. it is. Like, which one's touring with yep. the band for uh, you, yeah. right? Uh, or which one's working at the bank if you're a person who plays a conservative? And you were like, no, I wouldn't go tour with the band. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I have a wife and kids, it's, I care it, about the job. Use that part of your brain. It's a great answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. And so, so that's what I would say. Yeah. And, and I think that, you, you know, that's probably the only way to approach those yeah. things. So there's so much uncertainty in yeah. a decision like that. There's no perfect way to approach it. Yes. You're going to have to think through like, what do you want this company to look like? And what do you want your devs to be like? What, what, 
will make people happy to be working. I need at. to get in touch with some of our devs because they would love they would love the discussion. Anyway, we'll do okay. we'll do that later.